वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल ए टायर इनटू योर व्हील रिंग एट होम इजीली परफेक्टली एंड सिक्योरली एनीवन कैन डू दिस इट्स नॉट अ बिग जॉब दिस इज द व्हील रिंग ऑफ लैम्ब्रेटा स्कूटर दिस इज द पंप इट्स अ नॉर्मल बाइस्किल पंप This is the wall rim. This is another new tire, and these are TVS tires. Lifetime, unconditional warranty, Euro grip. This is also very nice tire. The price of this tire is eleven hundred rupees. Hundred. Indian rupees. This comes along with tube. Tube is also there. This is the cap. Here it is written Dragon three point five zero dash one zero. This is the direction of rotation. We will come to know about that. This is called chalk powder. The basic purpose of this chalk powder is to avoid sticking between inner tire and the tube. This powder has to be applied before boxing up. Why? Because there should not be any sticking between tire and tube. For that purpose, we use this powder. It's a good quality powder. Let us see how to install. tire into a rim take the tire put the chalk powder this is the chalk powder spread it over all over the tube you need not to put more and more chalk powder this much is enough apply on the walls just do it like this no problem whatever the extra powder let it come out don't worry now check for the direction of rotation of the wheel now this is the direction of rotation here it is written rotation the maximum speed limit of this tire capacity is 100 kilometers per hour and maximum load is 95 kg at 250 kpa cold take the tube on the wheel rim you will find one hole here that hole is this inlet to the tube will come through this now keep it inside the inlet point must be faced in this direction and this is the direction of rotation of the wheel you have to consider these points the important point in this is there should not be any twist in the tube while fitting it should be free of twists this is the point that's all don't give more strokes i mean give less air so the tire should expand very little very much little remove this now have a look there are no twists on the tube already chalk powder applied now you are ready to box it up see 
Okay? Now, now what we have to do? Take this wheel rim, which is having a hole for pointing out this inlet of the tube. Here you have to take little care. Keep it here. Keep it here like this. After that, just pull it. After that, just push it. Okay? See now, there is no load on the neck. There should not be any load on the neck. That means it should not be twisted or it should not stick to this rim pulling the tube along with the neck. It should be free. Once it is over, just pull a little bit. When you pull it, the wheel rim go inside exactly. That's all. Your job is almost done. Now, these are the nut. These are the nuts and washers. There will there will be four. Four nuts and four washers. Keep them here. Now turn the wheel and place this. Turn the wheel again. Keep it here. Place the lock washer. One is over. <coughs> the important point is we should never ignore in placing these lock washers. These are very important. These washers avoid self unlocking of these nuts. Please remember this is the safety point which is very very important. Place on the second, this is the 14 size bit, place it and tight it, tight the opposite one. Now this one, these are, these are tightened, there is no gap between, between two rims, tight this one, don't over tight it, you need not to over tight it, just that's all, now this one. That's all. That's all. Give final jerk. That's all. In place of this, you can use open end also. This is the Russian spanner. But for using ring spanner, if you use ring spanner, the space so the inner side is less so when you place the ring spanner here it will not get inserted properly so it is better to use open end or this type of bit and all four tighten this is the point place it see the power like coming that means the pressure is getting built up That's all. Remove this. Now your tire is ready. You can fit the tire now. Place the cap. The point to remember in this is 
you filled up the air but you don't know what is the exact pressure existing in this tire for that feed the tire to the scooter and go to the nearest air filling station get it checked and once you fill the required tire pressure level you are ready to ride your scooter that's all it is very simple thanks for watching thanks for watching we will meet again